way. They guide people to our way. يحدون بأمرنا. When? لما صبروا وكانوا بآياتنا يوقنون. When they had patience and they had certainty about our signs and about what we Leadership. Allah made leadership in terms of religion, in terms of guidance. The leading positions in terms of guidance are for those who have patience, perseverance, and certainty. Imagine, patience is the peak. Patience is the pinnacle of the life of the heart. When the heart has so much life, and its life is intact, and it's healthy, it has the power of patience. And certainty is the pinnacle of knowledge or light. These are the two good things in the heart. We said the life and the light. The pinnacle of life is patience. Because it needs so much strength, so much life. And the pinnacle of knowledge is certainty. That's the highest level of knowledge. And we said previously that the two missions of the Prophet and of the scholars after him is to give the people what? Tazkiyah. Tazkiyah enhances the life of the heart so it manages to reach the level of patience and perseverance. And the second job is to give them knowledge. And the more solid this knowledge is, the more knowledgeable the heart becomes, the more Uh, certainty and full conviction. So they are so comfortable. They live in paradise on earth. And this is what we need. And of, the reason why I started by saying that we are on a journey, we are on a highway leading to the hereafter. Either you choose the way leading to paradise or the other ways that will lead to the hellfire. Now, we need patience and uh, we need patience and certainty in order to make it to paradise. Because as you are traveling, you will see the majority of people are taking a w the ways that lead to the hellfire. And the way that leads to paradise is trodden by very little people. M um, a small number of people. So when you look around and you see the majority of people are heading into one direction, which actually, actually leads to the hellfire. And you see very little people taking that way. You need certainty about where each way is going to lead you. You know that this way will lead you to paradise. So you need so much certainty and conviction to overcome the natural inclination of following the majority. So you follow the truth because you have certainty about the end. You know, you are certain that this road will take me to the hellfire. Yes, so many people, the majority of people are taking it, but I'm certain that this will lead to the hellfire. So this certainty is more st is stronger than the, their numbers and the impression that I get from so much, so many, so much numbers. And I have certainty that although very few people are taking this way, and there are so many obstacles, so many hardships in this way, I need conviction and certainty that will keep me going on this way because I know I'm certain at the end of it there will be paradise. I will make it. So this is certainty. What about patience? You need patience. And don't forget, certainty is the light. You see, it's the light. It shows you the way. Patience, why do you need patience? Because the way to paradise is full with hardships, full with obstacles. And you don't have enough companions. As we said, very few people take it. Many times you are by yourself.
patience to keep going on the right way because the other way doesn't need that much uh, patience. The other way is trodden by the majority. It's easy to fit in and to be like other people. But it's difficult to be, it's difficult to stand out. It's difficult to be different. And adding to that, the way itself has so many obstacles, so you need patience. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given that in our has given us that in our hearts. You need patience and you need certainty. You need the tazkiyah and you need uh, the knowledge. You need the life of the heart which is the strength and the persistence and you need the light to show you the way. See how all of these things are in a harmon, uh, in a state of harmony. This is the knowledge that we need about the heart. So patience is very important to cultivate and it emanates actually from the heart. Patience emanates from the heart. And don't forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, the, is with the patient ones. As Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ And the patient ones will receive their reward in full. Allah says, uh, Allah talks about the patient ones, that He will give them their reward according to the best of what they used to do. What they used to do. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ So the verse actually means the patient ones, they will be recompensed uh, without, or they will be given reward without account, beyond any account. That's a privilege from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us cultivate our hearts and cultivate patience and cultivate certainty. By this we have full life of the heart, we have a full light of the heart, we have the, uh, our hearts in the best possible situation and in the best shape possible. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to do that and fulfill it and make it to paradise. Until we meet in future episodes, inshallah, with, to uncover new secrets about the heart and hopefully benefit from them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa